very intense experience for me. So uh, I'm excited to join you know, doing that sort of group. It's uh, very, very exciting. Uh, it really helping, you know, actually in our location for Belgium. Belgium went back Speak into the mic, dear. The mic's not working. It is. Speak into it a little bit. Beg your pardon. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try to start that again. Just basically a, a very special, intense experience um, out in the far west of uh, Ireland. A very beautiful landscape that really immersed us <coughs> in the world. Um, it, it was it was an absolute uh, pleasure and roller coaster, and um, an absolute joy to work with uh, all the boys at Castle Crew. Extremely talented team on both sides of the camera um, in Ireland and in Belgium. Um, so yeah. Not much else for me to say, but an absolute pleasure. Hey, I'm John. Speak into the mic. Sorry, yeah, you're right. <laughs> uh, yeah, very, very. Uh, you just wanted us to introduce ourselves and yeah, see what we did, good. yeah? Okay. My, my name is John. I play the mute. And, and yes, a very special experience. We'll come back to questions. Hi, my, uh, my name is Stanley, and I play the Cistercian. <laughs> Brandon, I directed it. <laughs> Hi, I'm, I'm Connor, one of the producers. I'm JB, I'm the writer. And Hugh, who played uh, Carl. So, uh, Brandon. Yes. Uh, a cheerful little tale. <laughs> I don't know. I, I haven't seen it in a long time, so I was as entertained as anyone. Yeah. yeah, no, it was great. It was okay. Um, we were saying that Irish films were full of heart and humour, but in your case, they're. Yeah, we said they're full of heart they're, and humour. They're ripped out of somebody's chest. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, I mean, look, it takes all types of films to, you know, if we were just to all make if it was all uh, comedy and light, there'd be no diversity. And um, can you tell me just a little bit how you got together with Jamie and worked on the story? Um, I knew Jamie for going back quite a bit, and Jamie used to come into town on a Sunday and go for. Uh, I used to live in town, and he used to go for coffee in a little coffee shop near me. I think. Sure. Is it? <laughs> um, anyway, so Jamie pitched me this idea of monks traveling through Ireland in the 13th century, bringing something. You didn't know what it was at that stage, did you? Yeah, you weren't too sure, and you said there was an ambush, and I went, "Oh, that sounds good." I just, I liked the period. I liked, I liked the the idea of the locations of Ireland as well, and I, I just went from there. I asked Jamie to, you know, maybe do a treatment, or I can't remember. Was it a treatment? Yeah. 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 yeah wrote a. Page treatment and then sort of developed a little, sent it to the Irish Film Board, and uh, so, yeah, spiraled out from there. Um, and so, it, it, and, and the very tense chase thing, do, uh, have you done much of that like, kind of thing before, chasing through forests with. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, I, 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 you know, I haven't made an action film. I've made a film that dealt with violence and had some icky violence in it before. And I had made a short film where there was a chase through the woods, if that's what you're talking about, the actual <laughs> chase. Um, yeah, I, I mean, look, we didn't have a lot of time, so when I watch those chase sequences, I'm going, mm, we've, like, we've used nearly every bit. I don't think we've reused anything, but, you know, it's very hard, uh, actually, to watch a film that you haven't seen in a while, and you made, uh, you know, with relatively a relatively small budget for what we were trying to achieve. The height was a big budget for me, but you know, when you've got a huge cast, you've got stunts, you've got water work, you've got horses, you've got it could go on. Period. Um, it, so your time is really limited. So when you're asking about the chase, I, I sort of look at it and go, oh, that could be much better. <laughs> I, well, I don't know. It's very tense. Can you tell us what the budget and the time frame of the film was? That would be a producer. <laughs> <laughs> blah, 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 blah. No, it's, it's, um, um, it's uh, funded by the Irish Film Board and by um, uh, a couple of funds in, in Belgium, the AI. And uh, um, 
you know, it, it's, it's a budget of really about five million euro around there. And, uh, and uh, yeah, the, we shot it at the, at the end of, uh, or in 2015, and um, uh, now uh, we finished it last year. So there you go. How long did you shoot for? Um, it was uh, about six weeks, um, about four weeks in Ireland and two weeks in Belgium. A bit cold. <laughs> um, can you also tell us a little bit about the casting process? No. Um, well, we had a very good casting director, Dan Hubbard, and our exec producers, um, XYZ, were very involved as well. They helped us um, put together really the you know, fantastic cast, I have to say. <laughs> You know, uh, it's like we were just really lucky. I think we, you know, we, we all not realize how lucky we were. But I also think the cast, you know, enjoyed themselves and you know pulled together, and it was a good experience for everyone. So overall, you know, it was good. Um, we're going to take some questions. Uh, it's difficult to see you, so shout out. I have a question. Please go. Uh, you went back and forth between Gaelic, English, and French, and there were. How do you make the decision about when you were going to make those switches? Um, well, the language sort of delineates each tribe within the within the film. English language wasn't actually around at the time. So